you know, I really want to change Jezebel to something more appropriate. Why? There's no children here. It's, uh... No children at our settlement. Yeah, Only I guess... boobs! Alright, so you have your inflammatory remark back. Doesn't feel weird I didn't adjust the stock in a weird position. As long as the zero is fine, I don't care. It's still zeroed? What, do you think I am a pleb? Yes! I don't... You don't know how guns work. Whenever I show people this MP5, they're always like, Why don't you put the collapsible stock on there? And it's like, yeah, the collapsible stock is classic. It looks really good, but... The problem with the collapsible stock is it's freaking heavy. And I gotta carry this thing around all day. And the other problem... Granted, this gun doesn't have a whole lot of recoil. But it kind of feels like just getting hit in the face with a chunk of rebar when you shoot it. So it's not a lot of fun. Mm. I'm gonna rip your limbs off. Mike, you are... That is not Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. You're shooting him to death. Did you see that juke? Did bye you bye see that juke? Guess. Was that intentional though? No, that was intentional. Mm. You duck dodged and weaved. Yeah. Wove? Woven. Ooh, subway station. Why did I tear a booby trap? Because somebody set up a booby trap! Who did that? Oh, it was me. It was me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for just like yelling at everybody. It was me that did that. Mm-hmm. That's how the fight started. We modified well, the semi-automatic pistol. It's now fully semi-automatic. Lock and load. I have a Stetchkin. Most people don't know what that battle cry is. Russian weapons. Oh, that's, that's a bit clearer, but less intimidating. Oh, this is so romantic. Thank you for bringing me in such lovely places. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that sarcasm? I think so. <laughs> okay. Ah, crap. Oh, great, and I just broke it. <laughs> oh, no way to get in there now. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously? Nothing good in there anyway. All right, there's a magazine. See? Oh, shit, you're right. There yeah. is. Rewind time before I broke that. Okay. <laughs> Open. All right, what do we got? Live and love. Nuke the man. The deviant festival that is sweeping the nation. Oh, okay. It's like Burning Man, but... Only with nukes. This guy was gonna set himself on fire. Le carnage ici, il ne reste presque plus rien. What? What did she even say? She said the word carnage. That was pretty easy to interpret. I don't know how you can even understand her. She said carnage. What does that even mean? Carnage. I feel like this is not gonna go great. Heads up. Well, that was Incoming. A great fight. Okay, that went better than I thought it would. Ooh, goodness. Attention, citizens. You may now resume your normal activities. If your normal in activities include shooting ghouls, then I guess this concludes that. I can do that, though. Ooh, a porthole. Aha! Look at this! Oh! Yeah, you guys can't get in here now. I guess we can't because you locked the door. Yeah, I did lock the door and also I'm standing in front of it So even if you even if the door wasn't locked you wouldn't be it <laughs> Rude <laughs> All right, I'm getting sick of hearing these subway updates. They don't even update this much in an actual subway. Let's leave What's up? There's a baby carriage You think there's a hostile baby in it? There could be a baby in it that wants to kill us. Maybe you should check. Okay. All right, there wasn't a baby in that one. How do you know? Yeah, yeah there was a baby in that one. Ah. That must have been a chunk of the baby. <laughs> do you know the way to get to Cambridge? Cambridge. Do you know why this man's in a cage? That's weird. Baby! Is this your new thing? You see a baby carriage or a crib and you blow it up immediately? Well, I gotta make sure there's no baby in there. Why? Why do you need to make sure of that? Can you imagine being born into this world? How fucked up would that be? Oh, so it's an act of mercy. Yeah. There has to be a better way to check for babies. I mean, are you suggesting that I just like shoot into them with bullets? Maybe you go up and check. Babies pose no threat. Except for that wood exploding baby. Hmm, a workbench. Oh, this is exactly like our garage. Kind of, different location. Yeah. 
See, look at this. Bye. Bye. Now all the loot is mine. Home is where all your companions are. Yeah, but this one has a door right here. Ah, uh, yeah, ours is broken. Wait, did you say home is where the companions are? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you? Man, we are finding all kinds of good scrap today. Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize that my room was the bathroom. <laughs> Apparently so. Okay, then. Well, I mean, your room is literally a closet. Yeah, so. but it's not a bathroom, though. It just means that I can go pee in the middle of the night whenever I want. <laughs> That's not what it means. I think I'm getting farther away. It's probably an eyebot. We can ignore it. Yep. Uh, I hear a train now. That's probably an eyebot. We can ignore it. <laughs> now it's definitely getting louder. Well, you were right. It was an eyebot. Got it. It was Rust Devils. Yeah, yeah. Oh, are they up there too? Yeah, they are. Well, that was a great fight. Killed the robots, killed the raiders, we're done here. Well, it's sentry bot helmet. Ooh, whoa, you're a, a... Wow, you literally have a nail sticking through your face. I hope that's from one of the robots, otherwise that is some serious commitment to the character, my dude. Hey, what's in here? The college admin building. Okay, let's check it out. Time to get your money back for that uh, college writing class you went to. I probably will have to take some courses over again because I did drop out seven years ago. Ooh, a postcard! Nice! Greetings from California! Cool! Uh, can you read cursive? Not very well. My... It's very corroded, I can't see. It's very, it is very hard to read. Huh. I didn't know the brain fungus glows. Ooh, it does! Yeah, I had no idea. Maybe that's a recent addition. Maybe they didn't used to glow. Mm. They added it to attract new students. Ooh, hello. Who are those people? They look like Minutemen. Let's go say hi. Excuse me, sirs. Do you have a moment to talk about so our Lord and Savior? Huh? Son of a bitch! <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Help me! Someone! What's wrong with you? Get back here! <laughs> I'm trying to help! I don't, I don't think he sees it that way. Fine, cripple the leg. <gasps> what? You died from that?! Yes, Zach, you hit the femoral artery! How could I have shot him in the femoral artery? I hit him in the shin! Look! It was the shin! Where the shin, Mike! Where, where do you think that femoral artery stretches to? I, I don't know, the knee? And then what's the knee bone connected to? Bradley, I know you've doubted me since we killed that guy who came into our camp. But this is how we do things. I don't have time to try and figure out if a newcomer is trustworthy or if he's gonna slit our throats in the first night. I don't see it as a choice. I see a stranger, I kill them. It's for the good of the group. I'm glad that was a short letter because that it kind of hurts my throat to do that voice for any period of time. You chose to do it. I did, I am the only person to blame. <laughs> Plumber's secret. The secret is using a plunger and then acting like you did a bunch of work. Mm, plumber's secret, a urinal. Um, excuse, excuse me for a minute, can you look away? Mm, that's not for use, it's for display only. Everything is for use now, it's a post-apocalypse. Oh, fair enough, knock yourself out. Zip. <laughs> How is there a baseball inside that lunchbox? Oh! Oh my god, there's little faces drawn inside the lunchbox. <laughs> What the hell? That's adorable. I never realized that. <laughs> Plumber's secret doesn't... I just heard a roach. Disgusting oh. little red roaches. Plutonium red roach. Hmm. I don't think red roaches can be made of plutonium. I guess that's that. All right, then. There's a plunger stuck to the... What the... F <laughs> How did they get those plungers stuck up there? Where... Oh, is there... There's a thing up there. Let's see. Can I shoot it down? Oh! Apparently, yes. Oh! All right. Ooh, we found a syringe rifle. And 23 caps. Well, that's not a lot. That's not a lot, but it's, it's, it's certainly not nothing. I want to level so that I can get the rank. And goodness. Ooh. It's not January. Or December. What did I say? Not December. Oh. 
Who's first? Whoa! Chainsaw! Oh. Chainsaw! Chainsaw! Oh. oh, you just got lightly grazed in the shoulder. It's fine. Thanks! That kind of scared me. So, what the hell y'all doing out here? I just been hanging out. Took you guys a long time to get here. We didn't even know you were here. Yeah, I had no idea. Oh, I go all over. I've just, you know, been hanging out, corrupting individuals, being a chainsaw. <laughs> you know how it goes. Uh, let me guess, that was a father of four that we just killed? Actually, he had six. Well, Two of them were bastards! So... Do you like the skull he put on me? It's pretty cool. I made him do it. That is a nice skull. Where'd you get it? It with his thumb. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> put me down. God damn it. I don't want to go with you, you sons of bitches. Filthy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, well, have fun, Bahamut, I guess. Chainsaw's Ugh. got a strong will. What oh, so in the hell is that? All right. Well, it's... <laughs> got a friend. Oh, I see you met my children. They're just hanging out over there having a fun time. <laughs> the famished. Yeah, they're real hungry. Uh, what is deliver? Why is a Walther PPK okay. with an extended barrel in 10 millimeter? <laughs> the Walther PPK is in 10 millimeter. It's in... <laughs> what? It's just a straight blowback semi-automatic pistol. Really low magazine capacity. Looks like it would be. They made the ejection port much bigger on this one, but... The original Walther PPK uh, has a completely fixed barrel, which makes it even simpler. Makes sense. Got a decocker and a safety on it. The trigger pull on them is, if I'm being honest, not great. So do you see the little pin that's like just under the rear sight? Okay. That one is a loaded chamber indicator, so that actually protrudes from the gun just a little tiny bit to let you know there's a round chambered in it. Uh-huh. If I remember correctly, it's the gun that Adolf Hitler shot himself with. Uh, it also was uh, James Bond's firearm. You think he picked that firearm as a tribute to the person who killed Hitler? No, it was mostly because a lot of the OSS in World War II used Walther PPKs because they were small, easily concealable. They didn't have a ton of recoil to them, and uh, a lot of Germans carried them, so it wasn't too suspicious. Were there Walter PPKs in 10 millimeter as well? No, theirs were probably in 32 or 380. Hmm. And this one is suppressed. How? What was that? That was probably a ricochet. It probably jumped up into the air and then bounced back down and hit you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's a lot of pistols that are kind of just copies of the Walther PPK. Like the Makarov pistol is basically just a Soviet copy of the Walther PPK. Mm -hmm. Like the safety's even in the same spot and it uses a fixed barrel. Okay. The recoil of 380 does end up being a little bit more forceful on the PPK, but that's just because the barrel is fixed in one spot. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, Walther PPK, it's single and double action. You can run it in either fire mode. Double action has got a very heavy trigger pull. Single action is not bad, but not great. Good gracious. <laughs> This looks bad. Yeah. This looks... Luck and luck. My hair is falling out just You're looking at this place. Die. Seems like a turkey shoot to me. How are they going to get up here? Climb the rocks? They are doing so. Oh, wow. Wow, they're Bethesda their way up here, all right. For 10 mil, this thing is... Uh, okay, you know what? We'll just, we'll just do this. Incoming. Drop it at her feet. Thank you. Oh, you pay for that. Goodness, you're gross. And you're persistent. Oh, bugs! Oh, great, bugs, too. Oh, bugs! Ah! ba da ba da ba da ba 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 da Your arms should badly be empty. ba da ba da ba da ba 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 da ba ba da 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 I'm gonna fucking die! Oh my god, I'm dead. Jeez. Alright, what? Why the hell couldn't I kill that bug? Oh, because it was a legendary vampiric blood bug. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Get a missile launcher, which does more damage. Woo! He was legendary, that's why we couldn't kill him. This guy is super bumpy, <laughs> which is what my fingers look like sometimes. Ferals are smarter than you'd think. Folks say what their the brains are rotted away. But I've seen them set up ambushes around dead bodies. Oh, they don't do that. Although, speaking of people setting ambushes... 
Oh my god! Good god! Yeah, Darlene disliked that. Ooh, what's that? That's a, that's a, that's a vicious looking mongrel! Ooh, it's legendary! Yeah, he's doing damage to you. <laughs> yeah, my MP5 is better than the Stetchkin. Oh good, a Chinese sword. I've never had to fight my way up a building quite like this before, but it certainly is entertaining if nothing else. Yeah, it's a novel experience. That's the key to a long life, is to experience something new on a daily basis. Like getting shot! Ow! God bless it! Wow, he's Ow, strong! God, I can't see! I can't see! Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, hello. Could be friendly. Is it? What is it? It's a bug, Mike. It's a giant bug. It could be friendly, but... It's not friendly. Oh, great, I missed. Well, yeah, now we you know... You distracted it's... him with your words of friendship! No! No! Except, except giant bugs, apparently. Here it comes! No! <laughs> no, I don't want to be friends! I hate friends! Yeah, that's right. No! Fuck, fuck you! I hate friends! <laughs> Get out of my face! Punch the bunch of death. This is when we got kicked out of Red Lobster. Uh, uh, and the Outback Steakhouse, don't forget that! That missile launcher does such little damage. Oh, look, a uh, single. <laughs> what? What is he doing out there? <laughs> He's just hanging out! Here, I got a prison for you. Prison! Oh, he didn't dump off! Damn it. He's getting away. He's, All right, lead him. What, is he running on, on the water? Is that ghoul Jesus? All right, whatever. He's gone. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, since we're already so close to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Lasers... Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, that's what, that's what that stands for. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives changed the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Lasers in, like, 2029. Let's check out that building. Maybe there's some firearms or tobacco or explosives. Or lasers. Hmm. Hey, here we go. B-A-D-T-F-L. That's the Bureau. Excuse me, sir. You can't own that. Oh, boy. I'll shoot your dog. All right, let's get some alcohol and firearms and maybe some more alcohol. And tobacco. What? How long do we have to distract this turret? Until the others find a way to this? shut it off. This is going to hurt. A short straw. This better be worth it. How do we know I'm not risking my ass breaking into an empty broom closet? It's of alcohol, drugs, tobacco, firearm, and lasers. There has to be at least one of those things locked up as evidence. Besides, why would they install a turret to guard a broom closet? Good point. <laughs> They're pinned down by a turret. Yeah. They're stuck because of a dumb turret. Hey guys, hold this. There was something less interested in the turret. Also, the turret was less less interested in them as well. Urban Watts, whatever that is, a fat man. Was this place just confiscating fun stuff? That's the ATF's entire job is to confiscate fun things and take them away from you. Like they're gonna get all the whiskey in the world. Urban Watts. What is the Urban Watts? Oh. So it's just a new version of the Ad Victorium. I guess so. Who wants to get you out of this gun? This gun? Oh, it only holds six shells? Is there any wow! What the fuck happened to their leg? Oh my <laughs> god! It got turned into bones! <laughs> yup! That's so cool! You obliterated everything on him that was organic. Oh! Oh, this must be the... This is ridiculous. I totally can't just reach around there and unlock the door. Mm. No, that'd be too easy. <laughs> Unlocked. A computer and a magazine. Guns and bullets. The future of hunting? Would Why you... would you send a robot to go hunt for you? <laughs> I don't want to get food for you. I'm getting too old for this shit. If I have to deal with one more loose cannon officer playing by his own rules, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. If it's not Willison destroying private property again, it's that maniac Gig Gibbs putting his life on the line. I swear, this whole squad is the reason I've got this ulcer. 
If the heartburn doesn't get me, it's a constant trips to the bathroom. Getting old is a bum deal. Thank God only three more days till retirement. Then maybe I can take the RV out to the woods, rent a cabin, and finally finish my novel. What day did he write that? Oh, the day before the bombs dropped. This is uh, this is a reference to Bruce Willis for Willison. No. Oh. <laughs> and then Maniac Gibbs is a reference to the Lethal Weapon series. <laughs> okay. Whose his name is Riggs. Well done. Duty. Now that we have killed all the raiders, let's activate the robot to kill the, the raiders. I'm sure he definitely won't turn against us. Won't. He'll just wander aimlessly. Oh. All right. Well, he's allowed to wander aimlessly. All right. Just follow this road, I suppose. Also, I absolutely love this FAMAS, though. Like, seriously, I love this gun. If you had to choose, FAMAS or P90? Ooh. That's tough. They're both bullpups? Mm-hmm. The, uh, see, the thing is, the P90 is very effective against things that are wearing body armor. Why is that? It was designed specifically to defeat Russian body armor. And the thing is, if you're wearing body armor and you get hit with a... 57 by 28 millimeter shell casing that is actually an armor penetrating round it will do more damage to you than if you weren't wearing body armor and you got shot with it this gun was designed to attack russians was it designed during the cold war it was designed during the cold war and the thinking was if russia decides to attack nato they're going to be sending spetsnaz and special forces troops and paratroopers mm. so you want to have your rear echelon guys have a gun that is incredibly easy to use has very little recoil is easier to use than a pistol, and is capable of defeating body armor. Okay. So that was the point of the P90. By the time NATO finally got off their ass and started doing weapons trials for the P90, I, the Soviet Union had collapsed, so it didn't really fulfill its intended purpose anymore. Uh, unfortunately, the war was over, damn it. The thing that's good about the P90 is 50-round magazine, high rate of fire, very, very low recoil, and armor-piercing bullets. Okay. Put all those things together, and it's a recipe for a tiny laser gun that is very small, very compact, incredibly easy to use, and theoretically capable of just ripping through body armor. So you would choose the P90 for its armor-piercing capabilities? Well, the other thing is, though, if I just take a 5.56 rifle, I've just got armor-piercing innately. So you would pick the FAMAS over the P90? Uh... Wh which gun is better at piercing armor, then? Out of the two of them? Yeah. Probably the FAMAS, because... The FAMAS is an actual rifle. And the P90 is not a rifle. No, it's technically a submachine gun. You would definitely pick the FAMAS then, yeah? I probably would pick the FAMAS also because they're, like, almost impossible to get in the United States. Money, no object? I'm getting both of them. But if money is an object, with it, which it is, and you're just going to give me one of the two of them, then I'm taking the FAMAS, and then I'll just buy a P90 later. Okay. Yeah. Look, I can get a four-barrel rocket launcher. Ooh. I like the stabilizer goes on only one barrel. <laughs> Find oh my god, what is happening right now? Jeez. Welcome to Verdun, am I right? I did that joke last time! Oh, I wasn't here for that! Somewhere over the, the rainbow, rainbow, way up high, I'll shoot this man in the face. Oh boy, will I! No, I'm not gonna do that. Also, I think you might be a lady. 